Hello everyone. So today uh, we will uh, do some Python practice. Uh, so we have uh, learned quite a lot of basic uh, Python building blocks and uh, we are now in a position to write some code and put the things that we already learned into practice and write some meaning, meaningful pieces of code which you can actually use and uh, so as a first example we can look at uh, how to do the Caesar cipher so we, we, so we have this is simple um, so we suppose I have a word called say cab and what we do and we get suppose I am putting an integer say 1 so let's call it as k k equal to 1 so now what we do is so we have the alphabet a b c d e f through c z and so say this is say 0 1 for example 3 4 index of this will be 25 so it's basically 26 letters so now so k equal to 1 means I am going to encrypt this cap and code and I can you know give it to somebody uh, so my message is um, nobody understand what it is unless they know what is the K so uh, so K is one means I take C right C and I look at the position of C here so I add one to that thing so two three so C become D so I say D and A is we increment the one so the next letter is b and b becomes c right so this is my encrypted code so that is caesar cipher so to uh to do that let us see for example this way to, to come with an algorithm for that so let's see this is our string cat and this is our k and we have an alphabet maybe alpha right and uh, so this is another string so how do we do it so uh, so far simple right so I can do for example I can say for example what we can do I can initialize more all strings so I have this word right C right I start with the first letter uh, first letter what is the first letter I start with that and now says first letter say s1 right so look at s1 word does s1 come in this alphabet right position of position of s1 in alpha right i'll find out the position where does it comes for example it is coming s1 in this case c c is coming in uh in the zeros position so let us call is it as index value so here it is c zero one two right that will be two second position so now third thing what we have to do uh we'll add one to that right this is our k the shift value so i'll say two plus one so suppose i call this as three which is new index or something like that so three and and so that is now we have to find what come at three right in alpha right so we are that is that was the new letter or something n letter so in this case here that is d right d comes so now uh, we'll update suppose I have a, my core encrypted letter right suppose if we start here at zero step encrypted letter it's an empty string now I can say encrypted letter equal to encrypted letter plus whatever you found is the new letter right so that is basically that is at the moment it is D right so because md plus empty quotation is d 
uh, so now what I can do I can now go back right and do this step again this step right means the first step first letter we'll do the second letter so basically this is something like a for loop or while loop for loop because easy because if you have a collection which is a string I can run through the collection using this for loop so C A B right we have string I can take for string for letter in string so now uh, so suppose the, the the difficulty now this is this is this works right cap this uh, this one exactly works there is no trouble right but see if you look at the trouble here is suppose our word is something like say zebra we want to encrypt that right now we have 25 plus 1 26 right there is nothing nobody at 26 in this right this is the end so in that case what we need we have to loop back to the first letter zero means 25 plus 1 26 has to be 0 27 has to be B means suppose if you have Y here and suppose K is called something like 4 right so we have we need 1 2 3 4 so Y becomes C if K is 4 and so on and so forth so how do we do it so in this case what we did is uh, we find the position in D equal to 2 and we added that right we in this step this step was what this step was basically int plus k and then we find the modif new index right so which is 26 so so we can basically what we want 26 has to become 0 right so in that case we can see the modulus operator the remainder thing right is 26 by 26 0 and now if 27 has to become 1 again the modulus the remainder is 1 and 28 becomes 2 and so forth and also it will work for if it's simply 0 suppose uh, k equal to 1 right suppose if it's 0 0 26 0 is 0 if it is 1 so it works means suppose if I, I a, suppose it is a and k equal to uh, 1 so it, which means it will work for all our previous cases any value of 0 to 25 works and the moment it becomes 26 we get again 0 1 2 3 so the loop it works as a cycle so it automatically takes into account so all we have to do is rather than writing this like that we can just say this we can do a modulus there so uh, so so that uh, all the letters suppose if it is z k equal to 1 say 1 2 3 4 5 up to 25 works and when it is 26 it becomes 0 so the shift of so if it is z and k equal to 1 that is 26 then it becomes a so this is the idea now we have to just um, uh, put it into Python and see if it uh, if our idea works at all right so we can go here so this is C cipher practice so what we need so let us start with simple right our string is something like we can start cab only and then um, cab and then k equal to let's start with the say one right and we need one of the things we need is we definitely need the alphabet so look at the position of where the letter comes in that right we need to find out each letter c a b where does it comes in the alphabet for two so that we can shift it so we need the alphabet one way of doing it is i can just say alphabet equal to what I can do, I can say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, like, like that, right? Otherwise, uh, what I can do is I can, let's say module, we already learned module import, I can import string. And if you look at 
print directory string see if you look at see it has got all this stuff ascii letter which is a b c d we have ascii lowercase let us stick to lowercase for our examples so now let us look at what is that string see which one ascii right lowercase voila right so we got all the things so we don't have to type the whole thing right so what i can do i can do is alpha that equal to this guy which is a string itself so i got the alphabet so now what we need we need to uh take each and every letter okay we have to run through the letters right i also need an encrypt right equal to maybe empty string so that we can keep on adding finding the modified string and accumulate it basically can keep on concatenating so now for right for letter in s which means first time my let my l letter becomes c right so what we do we need to find the index right index where does that letter come comes in the alphabet comes in alpha dot index right and we have to find what letter where does it comes it's in this case it has to uh, become print index and let us check it so for yeah we could yeah that's okay so for um for every letter uh, right so we have um, cal so zero one two and uh, then we have a which is zero and then one b is one zero one right so this is correct so we have that so now now what we need to find so now we have to find the new index right new index equal to int plus the k value so which means we are going to shift first to c we know c is coming at 0 1 2 right and then it becomes you add that to 1 so because c has to become d right but we have seen that to rotate it back for general cases we can do it more or less so now uh, so let us not do this okay let us simply keep it like that and then um, an int right so we got that so now what we need to find we need to find where does this n int comes in the alphabet so we have to find the the new letter so we can say the new letter will be alf but index and int right and then just say print so c becomes d a becomes b and b becomes c right it's correct so now we have to just accumulate it so our encrypt becomes plus what plus the new letter right and then print print s comma maybe So cab becomes C becomes D, A becomes B, B becomes C. So it's working, right? 
so here uh, so this is all that the to this code but we know that if I change to this say zebra zebra spelling right I don't know um, so um, so now so when it does that see okay I think there is only anyway. so why don't we do zero right at least I know that is right see string index out of range right of course because 26 there is nobody so that is why when we can do this right remember we are going to rotate it back and see that works so z becomes a e becomes f r becomes s o becomes p so it's working so um now so if you do uh we can check the general things work so we have something like you know uh, maybe a great day or something right and crypt let's stick so this has to be this okay a great day so copy so So we are going to change something complex yeah. so a great day One more thing so let us change k to 4 right so e k v i e x h e c yeah so it's working so this is uh, so that's the whole thing so how did we do so we have we used the string module which we have seen which we haven't seen before but we have seen how to so import a module so string module may be new you could uh, you can um, go through it it's, it's a different methods available and we used ascii lowercase the attribute which gives us a string and uh, so we used the string lowercase letters and we ran through it and the main trick for like looping back at the end of the alphabet is this, this modulus operator uh, which basically is the reminder so it will throw out and then we find the new letter and find and keep on accumulating by string concatenation if you like to go fancy we can you know we can use this short notation right plus equal to if you want to here um, so that's it uh, i believe it was easy to follow and uh, thank you very much for watching